what it, you mentioned you've gotten hooked on historical fiction. What is it about historical fiction that you like? I, I, okay, you take like this, this the Sarum book. It starts back when Ice Age, the caveman. I mean, there's a there's a woman, a man, and his kids. And they don't really speak a language. They're going across the ice to start what would later become England. And they follow these families through the ages. And not to skip to another subject, Ken Follett's the same way. Ken Follett. Mm -hmm. Ken Follett has wrote like uh, a world without change, world without end, and then you go to people like um, uh, Barbara Taylor Bradford. A Woman of Substance was one of my favorite books in all that whole series. I, mean, I find something to like about every genre of cinema. Have you, have you learned more about the world through historical fiction it, and fiction in general? I have. I have. It, it, it makes you want to find this or find that or go see this or go see that, you know. You mean a place? A place, like Go yeah. see, uh, like where? Where would you like, that you would never thought of, you'd want to see? I've never thought I'd want to go to England, or, you know, but I want to see that side of the pond because there's so many things over there they talk about. Like now, what? Uh, uh, well, Churchill was born or the castles that they have over there, you know, just different history of how England started and we got our beginning. So, learning some American history along yes. the way, too. Yes. Uh, what about what about the um, political history of England or the uh, America? The, the political thing is funny because it's the same thing what you see now. The prosecutor started out with all the power and he still got it <laughs> since the beginning of the time. And it, the Ice Age? Well, not as if, when they started the courts in England, I would say. The prosecutors had yeah. power, of course, of course. But, but what? Reading yeah. historical fiction over and over, it, it teaches you one thing. Like, you may see a, a show and you wonder, is this true? Well, if you read something so many times, you're going to go look, look it up. In the historical fiction, they may change certain characters in there, but most of the, the uh, body of the book is true as far as what happened when Churchill was, when they were going to war with uh, uh, Hitler, that type of thing. Okay.